I hope anytime so. Anytime soon? Not anytime <laughs> no, soon? No, I'm out. I'm out. I, just, I, I crash out. Episode four, I'm done. It's a joke. It's <laughs> 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 like, oh man. Of course you're going to find out more. Um, yeah, as the series goes on, I mean, Barbara has been hiding a lot from Jim um, and herself, essentially. And as the series progresses, she starts unraveling a little bit her relationship with Montoya kind of um, begins to open up and uh, the audience and her and Jim start to find out a lot more about where she comes from like who, what these secrets that she's been hiding are and, and like how that's going to affect them and her relationship with Jim. Did you go back and uh, look at any other iterations of Batman that stuck out? Or I did. I've, I've always been a really big Batman fan, so it wasn't a new world to be stepping into. But uh, I went back and watched all the films again. I love the films, especially the Tim Burton ones. Yeah. It's my favourite. Me too. Um, so I went back and watched those, and then I also read Year One, because that's where Barbara kind of appears quite a lot. So I did that and then sort of looked at her. The, kind of final version of her but to be honest it wasn't particularly helpful for um, my character because she doesn't appear that much and she's it's also like people change so much from when they're younger to when they're that age and she's had a kid and everything at that point so I did it more to get the sense of the world and you know to feel that kind of because we're going for a sort of timeless slash 70s kind of gritty vibe so the Nolan films are obviously brilliant to get back into that world and then Moving to New York really helped. <laughs> it's like, I'm in Gotham. <laughs> so can you talk a little bit about the way that, that Gotham itself is a character, like in the yeah. series and the way that it's molding all of these characters? Yeah, I mean, for me, for Barbara, it's really interesting actually because I'm kind of, I feel like I'm in this tower and I'm above it all, which is really strange. And um, when I watched the first episodes when I watched the pilot I really got the sense because I didn't get to go out into the streets and any, or anything but obviously Danny had talked a lot about Gotham being and it is I mean you can tell when you watch it it's like another character like a really important character because it's it just sets the, the kind of vibe of the whole thing and you feel like the danger and the, you're so close to it's like the, the high classes and the, and the kind of grittiness of rubbing shoulders. And I think for Barbara, that's really interesting because she spends the first kind of half of the series feeling like she's in, a, she doesn't understand that danger in that world. And then you'll see kind of later on, she has a brush with that. And I mean, already Penguin is, you know, at her door and it's all kind of slowly kind of encroaching on her and then I don't want to tell you when and where, but there's one point where it all, you know, she really understands how dangerous Gotham is. Is she going to get it involved in any sort of actiony sort of things, or maybe <laughs> <laughs> anything that might uh, be training on your part? I haven't had any training yet. Okay. There you go. <laughs> what has been the most difficult, or was there a, a difficult or complicated scene that you worked on so far? Um, yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, it's all high emotion stuff, um, especially with me and Ben, and it's never difficult because we have fantastic directors, and obviously the writing is incredible, and, and working with Ben is always a real pleasure. Um, we, we sometimes try and sort of change up the scenes a little bit and switch, you know, gears and all that stuff, but it's always a pleasure. I mean, acting is always kind of the best and the worst thing at the same time, you know, you never you never know whether you're getting it right or you just kind of go in and try your best and see what comes out the other side. So difficult, I guess, no, but um, interesting and fun. Is there, uh, is there a scene coming up that you would love for the fans to see or you just want to point to them and point to that and say? <laughs> um, no, because uh, I would be giving stuff away and I don't want to do that. Oh. I like the one with me and Montoya um, recently. I love all, all my ones with Ben. So. The one where Penguin comes in in the uh, next episode is really fun, actually. Okay. Are we going to get any type of flashbacks between um, your and Barbara's relationship with Montoya? I know you say that there's a lot of secrets that are to be revealed, yeah. but that's a very interesting part of the show is how those two characters were um, in a relationship at some point. Yes. So is that going to be explored there's, at all? There's not so much a flashback, but it will be explored, okay. for sure. Yeah. You'll get to see more of them working together. <laughs> Where they, where they come from. Not in a flashback way. Okay. Yeah.
Well, we know that Jim is clearly a workaholic, um, but how does Barbara deal with that in terms of wanting to get to know more about his work and getting involved in maybe some cases or things that, as the series progresses, and, I mean, is she going to be one of those, you know, partners that wants to just really know what's going like on behind buddy. the scenes? Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, she doesn't, I mean, she wants to know for the sake of Jim and for the sake of her and Jim's relationship. I think she, as you saw in episode two, when she gets hold of something and she thinks that something's wrong and there's a way that she can make it right, she'll always do that. But I think her focus right now is on what what is causing Jim to kind of have these, whatever's going on with him. She can tell there's something wrong with him, she doesn't know why, and she's trying to find out what's happening in his work in order to uh, make that better. Not so much for the work's sake, but as the series progresses, she gets kind of more involved in his world a little bit, um, which, you know, does or doesn't turn out well for her. So it's kind of an interesting Last question, question. please. So, I mean, can you talk a little bit about what attracted you to the role and like, yeah, how you came to... Um, so, as I said, I've always been a massive fan of Batman and um, Bruno Heller's writing and his other shows that he's done I've really so loved. And I just really enjoy that Bruno writes such strong female characters. And I knew when I stepped into this role already that I would have a really exciting journey and that Barbara wouldn't just be a wife or a fiancé or, you know, to, you know, mother, if she ever becomes a mother, she's, she's, Bruno is writing and he's written for all of the, the female characters equally, I think, in this program, it is great because he, he doesn't, even though Barbara's like this really strong woman, she also gets to be really lonely and scared and messed up at the same time, and it's like, this thing that's happening, I think, for women in TV right now is we don't have to just be this one thing anymore, it's not black and white, it's like, like every woman and man on the planet, you can be strong and scared and tough and, you know, lonely all at the same time and you just play that at different parts and, you know, you don't have to just have this one ball and it's like we're complicated people and we get to show that. So that's what attracted me. Thanks guys. Oh, thank you.